Hola amigas, bonjour is me. Hello, konnichiwa. Puna. Hello everybody, it's Bugsy. Oh my god, the wind. Sorry, the wind just decided to assault the house. Oh my gosh. High winds today. <laughs> so yeah. Hi guys, uh, today I thought we'd play some Cluedo. I used to love this game as a kid. I had this board game and I sadly lost it and can't find it. I, s I know I had it a few years back. I've had it in this house before but I don't know where it went. Like I even, I love this game so much I got to the point where I just like made my own little paper cards of like the characters and stuff and I put them, uh, the three um, you know, the murder weapon, the murderer, and the room it was done in. You know how Cluedo works? If you don't, that's how it works. Those three things go in an envelope with no one being able to see that. And you've got to guess who killed somebody in, um, by working out who has what cards and, like, eliminating those cards. Um, I'm, this is the mobile version of that, so it's a little, it, it does work pretty much the same, but it's a little bit confusing, unless I'm just getting confused. But without further ado, we're gonna start. We have Miss Scarlet. I remember Miss Scarlet having black hair before. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but on the board game, I'm pretty sure she has black hair. Also, I'm pretty sure Mr. Green, or Professor Green, or whatever his name is, doesn't look that young in the board game. I'm sure he's supposed to be a lot older. <laughs> and Professor Plum as well. Let's play. Uh, what? Oh no, I don't want to pack. Oh, it's number 12245 in the global leaderboard and number 986 in the national leaderboard last week. Okay, thank you. Um, let's do single player. Hints off. Oh, Tudor Mansion. Oh, no, never mind. Tudor Mansion it is. Who do we want to be? I'm always Miss Scarlet. Gotta pick Scarlet. Why has she got all these different, like, okay. Yeah, she's fine just as she is, thank you. Choose other players. How many players can you have? One, two, three, four, five. So. Okay, so I'm gonna go off what I used to play as, as a kid. I remember Colonel Mustard was there. I remember Mrs. Peacock was there. Miss, oh, I have to buy Miss White, really? Okay, never mind for Miss White. Um, Professor Plum was definitely there. I'm not sure about Mr. Green. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Green, Plum, Peacock, Mustard. Start game. Ooh. Who who died though? That's the question. Who killed? Have to be oh, someone killed Miss White because I can't get her. Somebody killed Mrs. White. Who did it? Whoa, the animation of this looks really cool. Okay. Oh, so we're getting our cards. There's the murder cards. Bye. Trying to figure who out who did it. Okay, so I know it's not the study. It's not the conservatory. It's not Mr. Peacock and it's not Mr. Green. Okay, so it could be someone here. Or it could be someone we're not aware of. All right, um, what are we doing? Oh, I'm rolling the dice. I'm going first. Okay, so it's not Peacock. It's not Green. It could be Colonel Mustard. It could be me. You never know. It's always Miss Scarlet. Miss Scarlet always does it. It could be Professor Plum or it could be Orchid, who's not currently here. But why can't it be Miss White? Orchid's not here, right? No. But it can't be Miss White for some reason. Okay. Uh, it could be any weapon, because I don't have any weapon cards, but I know it's not in the conservatory and it's not in the study. So let's roll them dice. So six. Okay, where can I go with six steps? I can go to the hall, the library, the dining room, the kitchen, or the ballroom. So where was it not? Uh, all of those places uh, are viable. Sorry, excuse my TikTok messages. Um, Horrible. Something's telling me. Horror. Ballroom. Let's go to the ballroom. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me looking like a real candle wax figure there, but okay. 
Okay, so who am I going to accuse? Oh, that was. Okay, so that was my neighbor. And it turns out basically one of our sheets had blown over from the washing line into our garden. So, <laughs> whoops. All right, who are we going to accuse? I'm lying down because I feel relaxed. All right, um. Well, I know it wasn't peacock and I know it wasn't green. Well, our green's looking mighty suspicious. Um. I think Orchid looks the most suspicious. I don't have any weapons, right? So let's go with the candlestick. I suggest it was Dr. Orchid with the candlestick in the ballroom. Okay, so she's given me the ballroom, so it's not the ballroom. So we mark that off. Okay, ballroom, yeah, somebody has that, so we know it's not there. Okay, uh, thank you, continue. Alright, and her, I don't have enough to accuse anybody yet. It's way too early for that. Oops, I didn't mean to... Alright, whose turn is it? Is that Miss Peacock? Mrs. Peacock. She's in the hall. She thinks it was me? Bitch, you accusing me? You want to throw hands, Miss Peacock? Just because we know it wasn't you? Just it was me with the revolver in the hall. Do I have anything to prove that it wasn't? No. Okay. Does anyone have anything to prove that it wasn't? Like, can I see that? Somebody had a card there. But I don't get to see them, so that's tricky. Alright, Professor Plum. Professor Plum. He thinks it was Miss Peacock with the candlestick in the kitchen. Okay, I know it wasn't Miss Peacock. Mm. Proof for you that it was not her. Mm. Alright, Green's turn. But we don't know if it was a candlestick or not though. No one had that card. <gasps> Like when I asked about the candlestick, hold on, I'm still working on how to play this on mobile because I'm used to playing it in the board game way, but um, no one had the candlestick, right? When I asked, so I think that it could be, get rid of that, um, I think it could be the candlestick. Okay. So I'll circle that. Right, Professor Mustard, Colonel Mustard, sorry. Sorry, sir. Give me your proper title. Conservatory. Do I have her? I have the conservatory. It was Mrs. Peacock in the conservatory. It was, yeah, like, it's not the conservatory, dude. Also, it's not Miss Peacock, but I can't show you that. I can only show one card at a time. This is stupid. I think I do prefer, like, the board game version. She just show me your cards and like, yeah, look, I've got those cards, so it's clearly not that person. Nine. Oh, where do I want to go? <laughs> it's my turn. Um, okay, so now it's not the conservatory, the study, or the ballroom. So, I'm going to go to the hall. Something's telling me about the hall. Am I in the hall already? Okay. Alrighty, so I'm gonna say, did we get anything about Orchid? No, we didn't. Um, so we're gonna accuse her again, say it was the candlestick in the hall. Does anybody get anything to suggest otherwise? You've got, what have you got, the hall? So I know it's not the hall. Hmm, but, oh, but... Orchid's looking mighty suspicious. Thank you for that. Okay. Orchid and the candlestick are looking mighty suspicious. I think I have the murderer. And the weapon. Just gotta figure out the room. I'm onto you, Dr. Orchid. 
Miss Peacock suggested it was herself with the wrench in the conservatory. Girl, you should know you didn't do it. Did you like have a blackout or something? <laughs> uh, it's not you, Miss Peacock, okay? <laughs> The wrench, a lot of people don't have that. Mm. Okay, uh, yeah, it's not you, Miss Peacock, okay? <laughs> you are not the culprit. Did you have blackout? Did you drink too much wine? Where's Mr. Peacock? <laughs> Nine. Professor Plum is going to the ballroom to have a dance. Tom suggests it was Mrs. Peacock. Why is everyone accusing her with the lead pipe in the ballroom? It's not Mrs. Peacock, okay? She's innocent. She had a little too much to drink and she blacked out on her bed. That is the end of her story. Hmm. That wrench is starting to look a little suspicious as well. I might circle that because if no one finds the last one, then that's definitely the wrench. No. Green suggests it was Colonel Mustard, the lead pipe in the ballroom. No. Oh, I have nothing to suggest otherwise. Somebody did though, so, hmm. Interesting. Kind of mustard. Oh, that's a nice piano. Accusing me, bish. Miss Scarlet with the rope in the ballroom. Okay, I have nothing to prove otherwise. But apparently Miss Peacock did. <laughs> bish. I really want to throw hands with me. I mean, I know I'm the one that murders everybody at these gatherings all the time, but I love the accusations. I swear it's always Miss Scarlet, though. Like, most of the time. All right. Six. So many rooms to explore. Okay. Okay, kitchen or billiard room? Kitchen. Someone's in the kitchen with a diner. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with a diner. Alright, um, who am I going to accuse this time? Who? Okay, let's accuse kind of mustard. Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, let me see. I'm gonna keep accusing Orchid. I I think it was that with the candlestick. Honestly, do in the kitchen. Anyone? All right, what have you got? Oh, it wasn't Orchid. I am so sorry, Doctor Orchid. Well, now we know it wasn't her. <laughs> okay, um, in turn then. If it wasn't Dr. Orchid, hmm, maybe kind of mustard? Could be anyone then. I honestly thought it could have been her. It was getting suspicious. But nobody, like, showed me her card. Peacock suggests it was Professor Plum with the dagger in the conservatory. Well, it wasn't the conservatory. Oh, I can't show him the card for some reason. Hmm. Professor Plum's turn. Where are you going, Plum? Where are PC Plum? Balamori. Balamori. That's the story in Balamori, wouldn't you like to know? Balamori. Jump with Josie, jump is that where you should go? Oh, uh, Professor Plum suggested it was Professor Plum <laughs> with the rope in the lounge. Dude, why are you like putting yourself on the line, mate? Hmm. <gasps> oh, I'm gonna circle you. You could be a prime suspect. He might be right. Are you feeling guilty so you want to out yourself? Why would you accuse yourself if you murdered somebody? Like, why would you just be like, murder mystery? I think it was me. Um, okay. You think it was me in the candlestick in the dining room. Uh, I have nothing to prove otherwise, so people, please tell me I didn't do it. <laughs> Did we all just 
just black out and get super freaking drunk. Hmm. Could, could have been me. Could have been me. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Alright, mustard. You got four. Go, 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 go. Ready? One, two, three, four. Two, four, six, eight. He suggests it was Miss Peacock. Miss Peacock. With the ranch in the kitchen. It wasn't Miss Peacock. No, I know that. But, like, I was seeing if I had the ranch. Don't play the game for me, game. Okay? Chill. Hmm. Okay. Oh, my turn. Okay, so... Our left, the left of suspects is myself, Colonel Mustard, and Professor Plum. The candlestick and the wrench are looking likely as weapons. So it could be either of them. Um, but where could the room be? Mm hmm. Four. Okay, where can I go with four steps? The dining room or the lounge? What's more likely? Both likely. I'm gonna say dining room. Am I here? How did I just end up here already? Okay. I wanna accuse, let me see. I'm gonna accuse you, Professor Plum. Yeah, I definitely wanna accuse Professor Plum. Um with the candlestick in the dining room. Was it you? Oh, someone has a card. It was not the candlestick. Okay, understood, but that doesn't tell me it wasn't Professor Plum. Okay, so... <gasps> oh, it was Professor Plum. Nobody has the cards. <gasps> oh, <laughs> once I find out the room and the weapon, I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> Whoa, the wind is crazy. Hold on. Alright, Professor Plum is accusing himself with the rope for the conservatory. Dude, you're outing yourself again. Uh, yeah. Like, what the heck, man? It's not the conservatory, though. I know that. I have that. It's so you, though. <laughs> Okay, just gotta figure out the weapon. I have I have it coming together in my mind. He killed Mrs. White. Possibly with the wrench. Why did Professor Plum kill Mrs. White? He obviously feels guilty about it. Maybe he got drunk, got in a rage, has a temper. Oh my god, He's, Professor Plum suggesting it was him again? How, how come you get another turn? The dagger in the billiard room. Anything about the billiard room? Right, we have some back to lose now. Okay. Uh, I don't have any cards to show, so just continue, I suppose. Billiard room. There's nothing on the billiard room. Six. Lounge. Okay. Mr. Green. Suggests it was Mrs. Peacock. Good the roll in the lounge. I can tell you it was not Mrs. Peacock, okay? Leave Mrs. Peacock alone. It was clearly Professor Plum. You've got the wrong pa. You've got the wrong pa pa pa, -pa person. Okay. Hey, that means it wasn't me. All right, for once. Study. Kind of masters in the study. Professor Plum. Hmm. With the lead pipe in the study. Oh, I've got the study, so it wasn't the study. Okay. Um, my turn, okay. I don't know where to go. Six, where can I go? Where can I go with six steps? Kitchen, lounge, or hall? What have I got? It's definitely not the hall. I'm gonna go lounge this time. I'm already in the kitchen, so 
Okay, it was definitely Professor Plum. We been knew this. Let me try the wrench in the lounge suggest. Somebody has the lounge. Okay, so it's not the lounge. Okay. What about the wrench though? No one have the wrench still? Okay. Guess I'll keep going. I don't really know enough to accuse anybody yet. It'd be very damning if you accuse someone without evidence. I can definitely say it's Professor Plum, but what motive? What weapon? What room? In a minute. Mm, Peacock suggests it was Dr. Orchid with a rope in the dining room. Well, it's not Orchid. We know, we, we've been knowing this, okay? We know it's not Orchid. Dr. Orchid, okay. Plum's turn. Is he going to accuse himself again? Dude really wants to get caught. He would know what room he did it in unless he's just was just blacked out and drunk. It's not the conservatory, bruh. It ain't the conservatory. It says it was you with the wrench. And the conservatory. It's not the conservatory, but it could very well be the wrench. Anybody got the wrench? Anyone? Would someone please tell me if they have a wrench or not? Ooh, interesting. I don't think anybody does. Alright, Mr. Green. Off to the hall with you. It's not the hall, bud. It ain't the hall. Somebody's got that. Kind of mustard with the revolver in the hall. Don't have anything to show. Okay, something changed. Yeah, okay. Mustard turn. Five. Lounge. Was it a lounge? No, it's not the lounge. Professor Plum with the wrench in the lounge. No. No, it's certainly not. Okay. I think it's the wrench though. Definitely Professor Plum. Definitely the wrench, I think. And I'm not sure where though, that's the only thing. I've got a 10 doubles. Right, so where haven't we been? Hmm, let's try the library. Let's see if anybody has that card. Professor Plum with the wrench in the library. Jacques! <coughs> oh, what did you have? The library. Okay, so it's not the library. We we know this now. I think it's the kitchen then. I think it is. End turn. But I want to be absolutely sure. Seven. Peacock, off you go. Right. We. Yeah. Yeah. Peacock suggests it was. Uh, Peacock suggests it was Miss Scarlet with the wrench in the hall. Miss Peacock, I have. Sure, Miss Peacock, I have stuck up. I have st st stood up. I can't even speak. I'm so hot. I have stood up for you every time someone has accused you, and now you have the audacity to accuse me. Why? I never. Uh, it was not me. Don't accuse me. Alright, Professor Plum's turn. In the billiard room. Ooh, interesting. I wonder what people say about the billiard room. With the wrench in the billiard room. Okay, someone had the billiard room now, obviously. <gasps> no one has the wrench. Hey! Right, no one has the wrench, it's definitely the wrench, okay. But what room, man? What room? Billiard room or kitchen? 
Hmm. So the thing is, I need enough steps to be able to get to the billiard room and or kitchen to actually suggest it though. <sighs> Press a plan with the revolver in the lounge. Okay, continue. Was not the lounge. Yeah, we know, we know this. We've been knew this. Kind of mustard. Nine. Dining room. My dining room. Must have suggested it was him with the dagger in the dining room. Okay, I can't help you there, dude, but I know it wasn't you. My turn, okay. So I want the billiard room or the kitchen. Preferably the kitchen. Okay, kitchen. Off we go. Let's roll out this kitchen, man. Glad I got a decent roll there. Alright, I want to say press a plum with the wrench in the kitchen. Anybody got the kitchen? Oh, okay. It's not the kitchen. Thank you for that. Colonel Mustard. So that means it's either the dining room or the billiard room. So we've got two more rooms to explore. I hope someone doesn't get it before me. <laughs> if I can go to the dining room next. I only need one person to either say yes or no. And then I should know if it is or not. And if it is, then I've got it. it was, he's a reverend. Okay, I'm sorry, Reverend Green. I thought you were just Mr. Green. Candlestick in the library. No. If you had the card, why would you accuse, dude? These people are weird. All right, Professor Plum, please don't get it. I mean, I know you know. I know you know you did it. <laughs> it's not the kitchen bar. That's not the other pipe either. I know it was you. All right, Reverend Green. I swear they mean these characters like younger in this phone version. I saw these the characters are all older, except for Colonel Mustard. He looks about the same. Uh, Green suggests it was Professor Plum with the rope in the billiard room. Well, I have no idea what to say to that, but oh, thank you for saying the billiard room again, though. Okay, nobody could. All right. There was no X on this, so someone must have that card. Must have suggested it was Miss Scarlet with the rope in the hole. Would you stop accusing me? I'm not murdering everybody all the time, you know? It's only occasionally. Jeez. Who can't just, like, murder for fun around here without getting accused every five seconds? Alright, to my turn. I would please, 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 please like to go to the dining room. Please, please. Okay, eight. Where is the dining room? Uh, right there. That is the dining room. Let me go. I love the animation. Don't like the little pieces. Okay. Um, right. I am gonna use Professor Plum. Oh, this is it, already, guys. Big accusation. I think that Professor Plum murdered Mrs. White in the dining room with a wrench. He got drunk one night and was in an angry rage and he knocked her over the head and he killed her and he hid the murder and that's why he keeps accusing himself because he feels guilty and wants to confess. It's a good theory. Nobody was able to help me. Well, I think I have my answer then, don't I? Final accusation. J'accuse! Everything I just said. Professor Plum, I am accusing you of murder. Wait, no, you can't say the person's name first. You have to 
do the suspense. I say Mrs. White was killed here in this very room, the dining room. Traces of blood on the carpets. A sign of a struggle by the table. Table marks where something was moved to cover up the murder. Body hidden under the rug. Is there a rug in the dining room? Body hidden under the wood floor. I predict that the wrench was used to kill Mrs. White. It has traces of her blood on it and traces of fingerprints. I predict this man has feel, felt guilty and accused himself several times tonight. I think in a drunken rage. He hit her over the head with a wrench as she was annoying him and killed her on accident. And then hid and covered up the murder. And I think that he has felt guilty about it ever since. So I accuse of this crime. Professor Pum! What do you have to say for yourself? You killed Miss White, didn't you? You killed her. Dun, dun, dun. It was. And the wrench, <gasps> and the dining room, hell yeah. I'm a murder mystery detective. I solved the crime, oh he's like, oh. To jail with you while everyone looks upon you like, oh. and you all accuse me. I'm the best detective, I figured this shit out. Okay. Nice, all right. Um. <laughs> so that's Cluedo, the mobile version. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think it's called Clue. Clue slash Cluedo. Um, it's called Clue, like, on the title screen, and when you open it, it says Cluedo. So, either way. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry, like, I have to do it in vertical. It's, yeah, a bit annoying that, but I do apologise. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have any ideas, challenges, requests, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. I'd love to try out some challenges, requests for gaming, games, etc. I'm open. So please, please, please leave them. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, if you are new to this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. Please do. Or if you haven't, what are you waiting for? Please do it. <laughs> Please do it, I will hypnotize you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, that's not how hypnosis works. <laughs> but please do. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you in the next video. And as always, I'm Magazine. So, yep, so I forgot my outro. <laughs>